Hey everybody, it's Jackie schaumburg Minen. I've been getting some questions about my full process and how I make things in my sketchbook and how I make my mixed media paintings. So today I wanted to show you the whole process, start to finish, uh, in a time lapse. So you can see I start with a blank sketchbook page, I add on collage, some layers of paint, more collage, more layers of paint. Uh, most of that's done in kind of a black and white and a neutral color palette. And I'm, hopefully the colors will show up well, but there's lots of different types of whites, some warm whites, some cool whites. Um, and then I move on to full color. So I hope you enjoy the process. If you have any other questions about what I do or this process in particular, please leave comments and I'll be happy to answer your questions uh, and or make future videos. All right, so the first step that I do is add collage pieces. These are pieces that I've previously drawn on, painted, um, mono printed from other sources and uh, made my own prints. So you can see there's a magazine ad, uh, there's some stadium seats, some journal writing that I have torn up, and I'm using gloss medium to affix them all to the pages. You can also use matte medium. I'm not sure it makes any difference at all. The gloss medium tends to make things a little bit shiny, thus the gloss. Matte medium keeps things matte and not shiny. Some people say that matte medium can make things a little bit cloudy and gloss medium's a little bit uh, more clear. I'm not sure if that's true. I haven't really noticed the difference, but take it for what it's worth. I'm not expecting any of these things to actually show through in the end, but it helps me make decisions going forward and gives a little bit more depth and character to the painting. The collage materials can really be anything. Those brown uh, pieces there are just from some packaging material, some brown paper. So once the collage pieces that you've chosen have been affixed to the paper, let that dry, then you can add paint. Here I'm just using some whites and neutrals. So this is your opportunity to make marks, take a pen, draw some lines. You can actually even take uh, any kind of tool to scrape away some paint while it's still wet. This is some charcoal. Previous marks were graphite. You can see the charcoal is much blacker than the graphite. Just provides some more interest, and more variety. Just note, depending on whatever you use for your mark making, um, that will smear, most likely, unless you really know what your um, materials do and how they perform. Here I'm scratching some, some words and shapes and lines into a wet area of paint, which allows the area underneath to be shown, to be seen. It's tricky to see, but the white that I'm adding now is more of a cooler white mixed with some celadon green. Again, it just adds interest. So everything's not the same color.
adding a bit more collage now since I've covered up some of the other elements. This piece didn't know where it wanted to go. It took me a while. And again, this whole process is really about, uh, you know, trying to not to think so much and just feel. Just kind of intuitively what feels good. What do you like seeing where without asking yourself too many questions and overthinking? Easier said than done, but you really can cover up anything you don't like and redo it should you change your mind later. I say that very confidently, even though it's one of the hardest parts I think about painting is knowing that you can redo something. I'm working on trying to have, not, have things not feel so precious so that I get stalled and frozen and, and don't want to move forward because I'm afraid I'll mess something up. So these processes and these exercises help me to remind myself that it's only paint. Again, easier said than done. So things start to really get much more exciting once the color starts being added. Here I'm adding just some oranges and some blues, mixing those together to make some green. This limited palette helps things really feel more cohesive. And even though those are two distinct paintings, because I've used some of the same elements in both, the black stripes, same colors of paint, same types of um, graphite and, char and charcoal. They don't match, but they go together. It's obvious they're from the same collection. That's actually a paintbrush that I taped to a branch just to take a little bit of control away from me so I can't be too precise with the brush strokes. It helps to loosen me up a little bit. As you can tell, as time goes on and these paintings become more, uh, well, closer to the finish line, especially the one on the right, you can tell that I'm being more careful with the paint that I put down and where I put it. So I'm really starting to edit because especially the one on the right is uh, getting much closer to being a complete painting. One on the left still has a lot of work to go. As I'm going, I'm making decisions on composition, I'm trying to see what looks good, what I don't like. I'm 
based on the compositions as they're forming, that actually informs me of what to do going forward. As the, the paintings shape up, I'm able to make more decisions on what I want to see going forward. In this painting, or this series, my apparently my default was, when in doubt, just add more white. The one on the left gave me a lot of trouble. I had no idea what was happening. I had no idea where to go. So I just kept going. So you can see there, I'm actually scratching into that cream colored paint with a, uh, I don't know if it's a pencil or a wooden stick. It helps continue the line, but also add some different contrasting marks. So I am really lost on this left side for a while. I try some white paint, try some scribbles. Everything adds a little character. Really did not like that baby blue. But the right side was turning out very nice. So obviously I missed a section of recording there, but I did put some collage pieces on and that big swoosh, the big black um, scribble, I guess you'd paint scribble on the left side really helped me out and gave me some more direction. That was the turning point toward home. Adding that big collage feature on the left really helped me with that, with that second page. I was basically wandering in the desert for a long time until that happened. And then I was able to make more decisions and blend it in more and pick out some highlights, continue on. Just proof that if you keep going, it will get uglier and then it will get better. There's always something to be found at the end.
Now this is the, the final piece is taking off the tape that I had initially put on to make a nice little frame around the painting. I really enjoy seeing the clean edge after removing the tape. However, please, please, please do not skimp on your tape quality. Get low tack artist tape. I tried getting some budget artist tape off Amazon. It was a terrible idea. As you can see, I wrestled with this tape. <laughs> it took a long time and it actually hurt my hands. So stick with what you know, get the good quality tape. And here you go, you can see that all the layers, even if I covered things up, it still really adds to the richness and the depth of the painting. All right, so as you can see, that was taken over several different days, several different uh, painting sessions, over probably a week, maybe two weeks. So it definitely is a lot of layers, and I typically, one of the stopping points for me or stumbling points for me is when I get to a certain point where it looks nice and it's pretty and I like the colors and I like how it's going. Sometimes I get stuck thinking, oh, I don't wanna go any farther, I don't wanna ruin it. But I'm learning, <laughs> it's easier said than done, I'm learning just to keep pushing myself through and having the confidence to know that even if I mess up, uh, it's only paint and I can paint over it with something else. So uh, how are you doing with your paintings? Are you, um, do you have full confidence? If so, leave your tips here on how to, how to get more confidence. Are you struggling to start painting? Are you struggling to in the middle? Are you struggling at the end? Are you not struggling at all? Uh, any comments are welcome. And if you have any other questions, please let me know down below and I'd be happy to answer your questions. Thanks everybody. Until next time.